Yeah, Mama. <laughs> it is a beautiful morning today. No wind, thank God. The last couple days have been windy, so I haven't been able to get any projects done. But we went to Flagstaff yesterday since it was so windy, and um, I picked up something. There it is, the Cuppet washing machine. This is a portable washing machine that I purchased and. I'm kind of excited about this. I can use it on the homestead when we're here, and then also I can use it on the road because it is portable. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this unpacked, but before I do that, I need to hang this gate that I made from natural wood lying around. Got the hinges here. just set the pole for the gate and the concrete for this gate here we just have to wait for that concrete to dry and then we'll attach it to the pole and hey Jake hey Kellogg all right so we're gonna go ahead and open this oh here thank you um just put it on the shelves back there it's the glue for the pipes Is he still trying to get that, the skull? He wants the bones. You do not want that. That's decoration, not for you to chew on, Jake. Outside. Out. He's like, but it's bone. I can chew on that all year long. Oh yeah, it would take you that long to eat it. Out. Out. Good boy. <laughs> I cut the top off, but I think, oh, yep. <laughs> it just lifts off. So here it is. It's huge. It is pretty big. It's but big. I like it. This is portable, so I can take it in my RV or use it on. Ugh. Yeah, I mean. You can get a good sized blanket in there. Yeah, but I wouldn't wash a comforter, but I don't mind. I can wash a comforter. Go to sheets. the laundry room, you or laundry sheets in there. place. So yeah, sheets. Okay. It's actually bigger than I thought it would be. So you got Don't different, you, you have different water levels. Yeah, there's all different kind of settings and stuff. And you have soak, wash, rinse, spin. So that's nice. So this is the Cuppet brand and it was about, one. I'd say 150 after uh, shipping and taxes. So yeah, got the drain hose here and it just plugs into 110. Oh, is that the drain hose? What is it? Oh, this must be the access hose then. Oh, it is the access hose. This is your in. Your inlet, yeah. And this supposed just, to have oh. another one for hot water. So it has a little filter in it. Leave that in there. Okay, I'm gonna go get it set up. Awesome. You only have one inlet and you're supposed to have two. No, I think there is a spot for um, if you want to do cold water and hot water right mm -hmm. there, but you'll have you have to put it in. We don't need hot water. No, you know what? If I want hot water, I'll go put a um, boiling pot or pitcher on the stove and then just pour it in. Yeah, that's easy. Yeah, that's easier. Yeah, than having see, to put one in. A lot of the little ones, mm -hmm. you have a big wash thing, and then your spinner is really tiny, so that one wash load. Is a couple of times. This is all the same size, you don't have to. Right, this is a two-in-one, because most of these portable ones come with two different um, b barrels, like Brady was saying, but usually the spin barrel is a lot smaller, so you have to do half of it in the spin barrel and then take that half out and do the other half in the spin to spin dry it. But this one's all built in one, so 
it will spin it after it's done washing it. It's more like a residential. Inland but holes. it spins it pretty dry. Oh, yeah. Nice. And... Destructions. Yeah. The manual. Oh, manual. We've got it set right here just for now. I just want to test it out. I have biodegradable soap and some clothes. I'm going to try in this. So... Mainly pants and leggings. Ooh, jeans. Then I gotta fill it up with water and get it started. So that's not bad. I think that's about like 10 pair of pants. Okay. Are you trying to put paint water in my... Mm -hmm. No, no, it's okay. I don't need to dye my clothes. <laughs> Watch, it makes a little ping. That lets you know it's on. Then there's the program. Um, I think we're just gonna go with a uh, normal, which is number two. All right, how do you select a oh, program? I can't see the light. Oh, that's number one. And number two. Okay, I gotta fill it with water and then I'll press start. <laughs> How many nomads does it take to wash clothes? Wash One load of clothes. Or wash them. So it's agitating now. I don't think it'll do that when the lid's open. Oh, it doesn't? Mm-hmm. Oh, it does. Yay. Agitate. Agitate it. Ooh, look at that. Water's dirty. You need to change your clothes. It's working. You need to change your clothes. I don't need... <laughs> We just ran the hose over and hooked it up and it's working. So that way all you have to do is press the buttons and it'll fill itself. Is it filling more water in? Time remaining per minute. Nice. It's pressure. I don't know, it keeps switching. Oh, it's pressurizing the hose? Okay. Keeps switching from 33 to 66, which I don't understand. 33 minutes, right? Well, we'll just let it run and see what happens. Well, that could be BB. Huh? BB is wash, so it's going BB, that's wash. Okay. And 33 is the cycle, maybe? Mm -hmm. Maybe the minutes per hour, 33 minutes. I'm just really excited that we can wash clothes on the property. That's so convenient. Well, I'm, I'm wanting to buy one, so I'm scoping this thing out. Oh, okay, cool. But yeah, nice. this is it, and we're just gonna hang the clothes to dry. I gotta tighten that, because somebody put their heavy clothes on here and I stretched it out. I did not underwear. I put freaking underwear. Underwear. <laughs> well, you got some heavy underwear there, sir. I do not. Lightweight travel drawers. Uh-huh, sure. <laughs> For now, I just put uh, this bucket here, or pan, oh, to catch the water, because it's draining now. But I need to actually put a drain in, so it'll go to a plant or something. Is it oh, almost... it's squirting water in a little That's bit rinsing. at a time. That's rinsing. And then That's still... rinsing it. Yeah. I think it's uh, going to overflow. Oh, it's going to overflow! No! Oh yeah, the bucket goes up higher. <laughs> Collapsible. There we go. If there's a pump in it, it should be pumping. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dump this right now on one of the trees. It's still dumping. Oh, is it? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! It's the little ones, because they have the spinner on the other side, you have to take the actual clothes out and let it drain and then add more water. This is spraying the clothes at the same time, which is rinsing them. Yep. It's doing a much better job. And this is, like so I said, the two-in-one cup it, so you don't even have to. Look at that. It's spinning so them out now. We're spinning, but we're still on the rinse cycle. The CC. I want to see how dry so the clothes get on spin, because that's the key. Because I've been told that they dry them to where you only need like about 30 minutes on the line. They dry them pretty dry. I guess we'll see. Use a lot I guess of water. we will, yeah. See, that's, that's just for the wash. That doesn't include the rinse. So it, you, yeah. So it takes so it's not gonna, as much as the wash to rinse. So it's not going to refill the tub. Oh, again. Jesus, again? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 
we gonna I'm gonna figure out how to, uh, to hook the hose into a drain that goes that way we might um, want to go ahead and uh, maybe the bucket would have worked better the, the actual five good. gallon bucket it has here, let me get the bucket and then yeah. we can um, we can uh, drain this one out. It has a pump. Okay. If it uses the same amount of water here. for rinse, it should use four gallons. Here you go. Pump. Can pump you... Yeah, pull, no, pull that. Okay, Just there, you go. Yeah. there we go. This has got a pump that shoves it on. Yeah, so it can be that high. Yeah, sweet. Alright, and I'm going to dump this. And trees. spinning it's still in rinse it says spin should be a D and a D so still in C mode and I know when you when you open it it won't spin okay collapsible um, thing not so good <laughs> maybe just a five gallon bucket so it uses two gallons to wash two gallons to do that rinse. We're still in the No, I think it uses mode. that looks more like a um, it's gotta be more than the two gallons. Well it's at eight liters. Oh eight liters. Two gallons. So it's eight liters. So. Well I did fill it myself though. Yeah, but it didn't finish right. Oh. It probably weighed the amount of clothes. Oh I see. It has a sensor in it, I'm sure. So it's spinning quite nicely. This is not on spin cycle yet. It's still on rinse cycle. It's still on rinse cycle? Yeah, CC. A DD is a rinse cycle. A oh. spin. Huh. So maybe it's just getting the clothes dry and then it's going to rinse again? Maybe. Yeah. I wonder how much power. Right now it's using, yeah, about 290. 300 on the spin. Yeah, now it's slowing down. <laughs> I know this is entertainment right here. <laughs> it doesn't take much to entertain us out on the homestead. Washing, uh, watching laundry wash. Okay, there's still 16 so minutes, 15 minutes. <laughs> still 15, so it's yeah, probably going to so go through filling, a second. It's yeah, filling up now up. with it's rinse gonna water. It's going to go through a second rinse. So two, four, six, eight, eight gallons of water. Six gallons of water. So it's filling up right now. Yep. See? Isn't yeah. it nice? All doing it by its lo lonesome. Yeah. You don't ha even have to do I it. I like this. Yeah. This I like. Mm -hmm. So how fast would I go through a 55 gallon barrel <laughs> of water? <laughs> how fast would I go through yeah, a 55 gallon? It's gonna, if it just fills one more time, this last time, then that's about six to seven gallons total use per load. Oh, wow. It is kind of What's it? Does it, it doesn't say anything in there? <laughs> All it's, no, I'll, you're the one who read it, but at the, that liters, and I'm assuming that's the total wash load that it fills it up. But it must fill it up again to rinse, and then again to spin. <laughs> well, luckily we've got a 2,600 gallon water tank. Yeah, would this be effective at my house? Right, with a 55 gallon like drum. Mine, I mean, that's basically, well, you could get six if you had the whole drum and wanted to pretty well drain it. <laughs> you get six loads. Well, I would do. I would just do a wash, a seven. Just a wash. Yeah, if you didn't have to spin it. And then I would rinse. take those out and put in another. Yeah, and use the same If water, I could yeah. do that. Jimmy pointed out <laughs> this is what we found floating at the top. I guess I left money in there. So, oops, we gotta dry the money out. I know someone has a joke out there about it, but I'm not going to say it. The wash and rinse actually left the water in there. Then afterwards you have to select spin and then it'll spin it out. But for every wash and rinse, it seems to have uh, used about 10 gallons of water. This is the third. So it's like 30 gallons, but I did choose number nine. Now there is a quick there's a quick wash, a normal, a common, so I have to test these out and see which yeah, one I like the best, yeah. Do a little research also. Oh, they have one for blankets. This is great an apartment for sure. Yeah, it's on spin, so it's not making a lot of noise. It's pretty quiet. See that it doesn't empty the water. And then just repeat the wash out at the same time. Next, I'm going to check normal. Brought another load out and 
Yeah. How'd it do any, on the jeans? Oh, good. You can't get any more. Oh, nice. You can't get any more water out of that. Awesome. And the rest are drier. Just got to hang them up now. Well, this is going to be really convenient. That it's right by the clothesline. Yeah, these feel pretty much dry. They're just a little damp, though. So. I could have been. Okay, and this wash, I put about 15 pieces of clothing in there, some sweaters, some sweatshirts, um, then other stuff like tank tops, but 15 total. Some were bulky and some not so much. I just changed it from normal to quick because normal actually is a 45 minute wash time and the quick is only 23 minutes. So let's see if it'll work on quick. I don't know if it's too dark for right. you to see, but yeah, they're gonna go. They get sketched out and stuff. There's a herd of four elk right there. Pretty cool. I've only seen elk here twice before. Yeah, there they go. They're like, I'm out. Olive, come here. Hey, 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 come. Olive, come. Yeah, there they go. Olive, come. Oh, I can't see them. Good it's gonna get you, Momo. It's gonna get you. It's Bigfoot with four legs. 